<laughs> yeah, absolutely. I did the exact same thing. The uh, Terrans in that uh, video, is they felt the exact same way Riker felt when that night is popped, <laughs> and all of a sudden, Zerglings just streamed in constantly. And you had the same little audio clip of a man yelling as he got crushed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If he had Vikings to land, he would have landed them. So but the he didn't. farthest spawn that they could get cross spawned on Whirlwind as Zerg. Speedlings and Mutalisks will be completely vital in the early game. Well, Muta, I suppose, not really early, mid game. Yeah, this is definitely a Speedling map for sure. Your reinforcements just hate risk to get to the battle otherwise. So I expect we have a few minutes before we see anything super fancy. You never know with the rail. Yeah. Although it looks like he's already got that drone going out, so. He really wants to know where that's at. Oh, he's scouting with it, so it's not, uh, I guess, he, yeah, he's not stacking minerals, so it couldn't be an early hatch. Both of them scouting in the same direction. Um. That's interesting because they scout there and then they automatically know that they're cross. Um, because they'll see, they'll be like, oh, we went the same way. Uh, I don't, of course. I'm seeing Derail's actually going to know where Calvaro is. Calvaro is not going to have any idea. Y yeah, uh, Derail will know where Calvaro is because he's actually There's going, oh, hatch, Calvaro possibly. stopped. <laughs> so Derail gets that early scouting information, see what he does with it. So pretty much it's identical know. build. I always love watching mirror builds where literally everything's only a couple seconds apart from the other player. Yeah, absolutely. Though Kavaro, I think, is going for the spawning pool sooner. Yep, there it is. Derail? I'm not sure. There's the spawning pool for Derail. Though uh, Kavaro is actually going for a guess. So is Derail. Holy crap. It's, it's a mirror image at this point. If I see yeah, they... a Baneling Nest after this from both of them, I'm going to say it's going to become a micro game. And you know what? It, I really do expect to see the Baneling Nest from both of them. <laughs> we have the Overlords going over there. Um, unfortunately, Derail is actually going to have a scouting advantage if those make it over there. Kavaro just, his Overlords never floated over. He has no scouting information. Yeah, he, uh, he, he decided not to scout. He hasn't... Uh... He hasn't tried at all. So we'll see if he guesses. Uh, double Queens come from Calvaro. Uh, I don't know how much a uh, Baneling Nest costs in gas. I'm assuming 100. Don't know that for a fact. Um, we'll see if they uh, stack for it. Uh, if Darrell makes two more Zerglings, we'll see another mirror. Uh, Baneling Nest is actually 50 gas, so okay. could come up at any time. Doesn't look like they're going for it. We do have speed links coming from Cavaro. Nothing from Darrell yet. He's saving for something. Did he already have two queens? Is he going for... Okay, he hadn't built the two queens yet, so that's what that is. Yeah, Calvaro uh, just made his queens. They just popped, so he's got a little bit of an advantage there. Slightly quicker inject, but really only about a few seconds. Calvaro still in the dark. Although if he saw the drone scout and he's good with his timings, he may have seen that drone and said, this guy's right There's across the map the and, and that's why he sent Kovaro's it. Kovaro is going for it, but Derail is not. Playing Derail's game instead. I suspect we'll see her from Derail in the next 30 seconds. Both of them laying creep tumors at almost the same moment. <laughs> Spying crawler. Okay. So it looks like the rail might be going for more of a macro defense play. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if he's uh, if he's just going to try and defend it. He's just going to guess it's coming. He's going to see it. Is the Baneling Nest sitting up at front again? Because that's what yeah. it is. The Overlord's not going in there, though. So, yeah, he definitely knows that it's there. If he doesn't know, he'll notice it as soon as... Well, the Zerglings can run by and then morph later, but he has Overlords pretty much all over the... Uh, front of his base. Yeah, he's uh, he dropped two evolution chambers to uh, I didn't narrow notice that wall. There were two Zerglings of Kavaros actually in Derail's base. Uh, the Queen actually killed them, but the Queen took about a third of its health, but he uh, Kavaro knows that there's no uh, Baneling Nest. He just sees a spawning pool. Yeah, Derail's preparing for there's this. Uh, yeah, and Roaches are going to be really good. 
I think it's a good choice because it just the, the rush distance of this map, you almost get to see that bailing nest pop up and say, like, okay, I can choose what I'm going to do now. And I think going roaches is, is the better call, but we'll see how it plays out. Uh, Derail losing uh, losing some overlords here. That's not that's not good. God, I hate that as a zerg. Now, the ironic thing I've always thought about creep spread is, holy crap. I will always say something as I see 15 banlings morphing just outside the rose base. Yeah, I think my eyes uh, bulge an inch out of my head when I saw all that happen. We have two like, queens wow. and two spine crawlers, and that is about it. Uh, it is not enough. Two more spine crawlers are on the way, but they are not going to be ready for this. They're going straight in, straight for the workers. Oh, the transfer at a bad time. Going straight for the natural. The roaches are up, but... but it's too much... Oh, the economic damage. He's doing a decent job. Yeah, he did an okay job, uh, certainly on in his main there. Nine workers of killed. Keeping, yeah, yeah, keeping the, the worker losses to a minimum. Though he had a really bad time to transfer some down to his natural that ended up getting caught in the uh, baneling fire. Yeah, absolutely. Ten more banelings are being morphed. Not letting up this, though. The roaches are already going to be out by then. I think that with the roaches out now, because the roaches really do absorb the baneling damage quite well. The banelings don't do the bonus damage. Roaches aren't light. So, the one I don't know, like, almost it, up, too. That's there's kinda... a certain point where you just have too many banelings, right? The roaches... Oh, the roaches get surrounded. Oh, those uh, banelings roaches up front, too. Banelings did nothing that round. Yeah, so he's got too many roaches. I think roaches were a very good call for derail. So, um, I would love to see a uh, tech switch into mutas at this point because Kavaro has is just pure ground at this point. Uh, yeah, derail's just a little low on gas. He's only four guys mining. He's got three gases up, but he's only got four guys mining on gas, so he's not really ready to go to muta. But I'd love to see it happen. Kelvaro taking a third base. I think derail maybe just he might be just be all pushing. in roaches. Yeah, that's definitely what it's looking right now. Just mass produce. He is pushing out. Uh, that is, the zerlings up in the uh, top left actually might be an issue. If he pushes out with those roaches, they could run right in and wreck havoc. Yeah, I was gonna say that it's, you pointed out before I even could. Uh, he had his army split up in two spots, so he had a smaller number of zerglings sitting out in the direct path, and then he had a larger number off to the side that wouldn't be run and uh, run into. And that's a really good thing to do because you kill the smaller number, and then you feel confident, and you move out to the base, and then all of a sudden the bigger number just rolls in your base and kills all your drones. I don't think he even I, saw the smaller number. No, he didn't. Uh, Kelvaro moved it. There before it is. It happened. Exactly what we were saying. The zerglings are running in. Roaches are tearing up the uh, spine crawlers at the uh, entrance of the natural. The Zerglings wrecking havoc in the uh, main for uh, the rail. They're being cleaned up pretty quickly by the team. GG already from Kovaro. Yeah, absolutely. The Zerglings just didn't do enough damage there, and he's going to lose the base race. So So we are now 2-2 two -two in this final. Yeah, 2-2. Two -two. Very good. Goes to five games. It, uh, both these players are great, so it's glad, glad to see that happen. Been rather quick Zerg... Uh, ZBZ, I don't normally expect a bunch of 10 minute games. The Zergling, the ground micro battles stay pretty, pretty quick. Where if they go into the large air mid game timings, late game timings, 